Hi, this is Chris from dashcamcentral.com.au and this time we're just going to have a quick look at the menu functions of the GitHub Git 2 action camera. So uh, essentially there's three buttons on this camera. You've got your power button on the front, you've got your shutter button on top and you've got your Wi-Fi slash settings button on the side. So to power up the camera we literally just hold the power button on the front two seconds and it'll power up for us. So from there we use again the front button we can scroll through the various screen settings so here it's on video and we go through to camera we've got playback and we've got uh, system settings so what, what we do is we just go back to the video mode and then we just push the side button which will take us into the video settings so you can see there's a number of different settings there we use the front button to scroll through them and uh, the top button to, to action them so you can see right there we're already sitting on the 1080p 60 frames so if we want to change that we can just scroll through to all the other settings and that's the same function no matter which one you're on so we'll just scroll through we'll reset that to 1080p 60 before we move on and then we'll go through the others. So that's your video resolution. You've got loop recording. That's uh, one of the software functions for using this as a dash cam. You've got your microphone level. So obviously medium, high, low. Uh, date stamp. So that's date stamping your video. Time lapse, on or off. Timer. So that's for taking selfies or self portraits. White balance. Uh, you've got custom white balance. In case you're going to use it underwater, you can use custom red. You've got the menu functions, so this particular button on the side you can actually adjust to give you a few more functions. So you can go in and set that. That's your EV, that's your shutter speed adjustment, ISO adjustment, uh, color tones, uh, your gyro, which is your image stabilization, wide dynamic range. Again, I normally only turn that on with uh, dash cam use, but that's uh, one of the settings in there. Uh, slow motion, sharpness, metering. Field of view, so you can change the uh, the field of view of this camera from 150 down to 120. Uh, video bit rate, seeing so just the, the recording bit rate on the camera. Motion detection, again that's for dash cam use. And G sensor, which is dash cam use as well. So if we just use the side button to go back into our, our video mode, we're going to use the front button to flick through to camera mode. And we'll have a look at the camera settings. So side button. Just go into the camera settings and you can see you've got your megapixel settings, uh, shutter speed, date stamp on off, time lapse on off, self timer, uh, EV, so very very similar to the video modes, colour saturation, white balance, custom white balance, uh, capture mode, single burst, uh, sharpness, uh, metering and uh, you can take uh, raw photos with this as well. So. Once again, we'll just go back in there, scroll through to your playback mode. Got playback mode, and then obviously you've got play, delete, uh, lock and unlock your file, and uh, just switch your slideshow on or off. Going back to the camera, the side button, and we go into the actual system settings. So again, we just press on the side and you can see you've got uh, quick capture and we'll explain that in the longer version of this uh, that's your beep so you can have uh, beeping sound on or off that's your on screen display information on or off car mode so that's where you can switch it over for dash cam use um, custom text so uh, you can actually put name or your registration in there using a text file and loading it to your hard drive uh, sorry your micro SD um, LEDs so you can turn your LEDs from the front top uh, and back off. Uh, sleep timer, so that's uh, obviously how long before the camera switches itself off, um, or the screen I should say, and then you've also got the auto power off, so that's a setting for the camera powering off. Date and time setting, uh, language version, frequency, uh, power in TSC mode, uh, RC pairing for radio control use, um, that's another setting for radio control use, that's your RC operation. 
uh, USB mode, so it's going to prompt you to go into mass storage or there's a couple of settings in there, and format your SD card. And uh, that's the button to just default factory settings. So if you play with the settings, you want to go back, just use that one. And of course, that's the version, so that'll tell you what version of firmware you're running on the camera. Uh, so that's it. That's a very quick look at the menu settings, but we will run another video, which uh, will be a longer version, just to take you through uh, the settings in a little bit more detail. So that's it for now from Chris at dashcamcentral.com.au.